So guys, we're looking at the best swings of all time and uh, really looking forward to sharing this one with you. What makes a great goal swing? What do they have in common? What do they obviously do that we don't and what can we learn from it so that we can play better golf? Really interesting when we start to look at the averages of movement. Guys, if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, click the bell, plenty of stuff coming your way. Let's get stuck into this video. I really want you guys to leave your comments underneath so guys, right, what a golf swing. Now, there's hardly any swings in the world that just look great when they're hitting a driver. But uh, McElroy, as far as I'm concerned, this is the best looking swing that I've ever seen ever with a driver. And uh, I've seen him hit balls a couple of times live. And to see the ball speed, it's um, it's actually shocking. You, you, you literally cannot uh, believe it. And uh, the guys won four major championships on the US Open at 22 by eight shots. And if you get a chance to watch that on YouTube, that is uh, some ball striking that you've probably never seen before. So even though we're not looking at uh, as many major championships as some of the legends, are we still looking at, you know, one of the greatest swings of all time? And don't forget the guy's not finished yet as well. So this swing for me is absolutely remarkable. And the speed and, and down the bottom and the balance, one of the things I just I literally cannot believe is that the guy can hit it, you know, carry it like 320 yards sometimes, and he can just stand in perfect balance. And uh, when you break the swing down, it really has some unbelievable moves. The slow motion swing with the driver, it, it's its even better. Just have a look at this, will you? I mean, normal people can't swing like this. It's just out of control. I mean, look at the width and the moves and how the feet work. <laughs> that's unbelievable isn't it how's his how's, how fit is this how's his body to be able to look at that left arm look at the width to be able to hold that structure i mean the arm's nearly inverted and the head drops down him on he gets this sort of like scissor kick thing down the bottom that you've just never seen before you know moving downwards huge turn of pivot then moves further down and then gets these feet to almost squeeze that last energy out of the ground as it's a Scissor kicks back up into a finish position that looks like it's an, an emblem for the PGA. And, uh, you know, when you're looking at his iron shots and the way that he, you know, moves the ball, uh, yet now in both different directions, left to right and right to left, uh, we're still going to see this guy win more major championships. Compression, shaft lean, movement, lateral movement, getting into impact here. And uh, we've gone around 14 degrees of shaft lean. Two are average. We're looking at around 10 to 12. And this one was sort of a bit more of a three quartery type of shot. But what a goal swing. Rory McIlroy, what do you think, guys? Is this currently the best swing with a driver in world golf? Is it the best driver swing that you've ever seen? It's got to be close. So, right, have a look at this. Tiger Woods, the young Tiger Woods. Look at the speed, the width. And when this swing came out, we hadn't seen anything like it. And uh, it's really changed the way that golfers play, especially the, the young generation now on the PGA Tour. Jack Nicklaus said he sort of, when he had a game with him back then, he said he sort of blocks it. He hadn't seen really a swing like it. Around 2000, 2001, 2002, this swing was unbelievable. And uh, just having a look at that, have a look at that with you. Uh, just incredible golf swing. So people, right, we're looking at the best iron play in the last 30 years, one of the best of all time. Now, before we get into some of these hidden moves, a couple of the secrets in the swing that's really going to help your ball striking and get you to understand the swing better. Let's just hit play and appreciate the sequence, the timing of this incredible motion. Now, the amount of time that this swing has, the ability to transfer the speed of the club to the speed of the body, making it look like it's easy, but there's so much speed in it. I'm going to show you how they do that here. Now, looking at the top of the swing, obviously, they've got great back swings. They're getting everything to collect. But this initial move here, have a look at this bumping of the hips. Now, we've got four to six inches on the screen. That's the tour average. Four to six inches of lateral shift with this lead hip, compliments of Dr. Robert Neal from World Class Golf Instruction, who's analyzed 2,500 professionals, 550 tour professionals. Now that first move there, we see a lowering of the head. Okay, so they're hitting it with shaft lean, so they're shortening the radius of the swing. So they drop down one to three inches, they sink down slightly, bump that lead hip, 
And then through the golf ball, what we're seeing is the chest rise and lift. And we can see that here. Now, this, this rising of the chest, this is a move that nobody really looks at except me, is when we get the arms around parallel to the ground here, we can get a line down this right side of the body and get a gauge of where that points out in front of the, the lead foot. Now, have a look at Hogan as well. We're going to see that bumping of the hips, that move forwards. This is essential. It helps you hit it from the inside, get shaft lean, and get compression, recentering, a relocating of the lead hip. This relocation of the lead hip is essential. And we've got the evidence-based instruction here. The closer you get to these positions, the closer you get, the better you're going to hit it. Now, you can improve it by 5%, 10%, 15%. You can just improve the whole thing. But you, know, you want to make sure, even if you're a weekend golfer, even if you're a weekend golfer, you want to be making sure that you're working with facts. And this is worldclassgolf.com. Have a look at those positions. High chest, lateral shift. Guys, you're drawing a few simple lines. I can coach you online with my swing analyst. Your swing will be on the screen here instead of the other guys and you get a voiceover. You have a look at that on worldclassgolf.com. Let's get further along from the back view of Tiger Woods, some other unbelievable ball strikers, and get us a great gauge and guide of where we need to be in our golf swings. So guys, right, I'll play this through. Just have a look at the speed of this before we have a quick look and move on to some other swings. Watch this. I mean, it's just unbelievable speed. Let's have a look at a couple of the key moves here, all right? So when we're looking at Tiger Woods' swing, one of the areas that we've been showing a lot of people on worldclassgolf.com is the entry. You know, you're getting in there and getting this club head. Have a look at that, the shadow effect, slightly behind the hands when the club's parallel to the ground. How do you know it? Well, you've got a mobile phone. Like people say, well, how do I know that? You've got a high-speed camera in your pocket. Right, so every tour pro, every player, every top amateur, they're all filming their swings with their mobile phones. Now, some of the moves, the common moves, and we've had a video recently on the shoulder plan, a low left shoulder, you get it around 40 degrees, that's the tour average, it helps you get a low right shoulder. A lot of the things that people don't even know, they're practicing the wrong way, unfortunately. Now, some of the things that we can't do, and that's the reason got Jack Nicholas, Hogan did it, Tiger Woods, they could bend their body into positions that nobody can. We just have to appreciate that, right? So like a move like this, it's just ridiculous. I mean, the body strength. You've got 29 degrees here from the shoulder into the belt buckle. Nicholas, they used to call him the bull, right? He used to smash club heads and just hit the ball, just pound at ridiculous distances. People have forgotten that, 27 degrees. Now, the hips moving back, all these moves through the golf ball. When we have a look at this insane move, just quickly here through the golf ball, which is a little like, you know, the young guys these days with Victor Hovland and things like that. When we've got the arms parallel to the ground here, I mean, look at this. We've got the shoulders at 70 degrees. I'm not advocating that, you know, but the, it's just, yeah. You know, I mean, it, it's not great for your back, as we know, but uh, it is a position that we're seeing more and more often these days, and people from this position are just hitting it, just extreme speeds and, and the chest flying open. The golf swing definitely has changed. Guys, I want you to leave your comments underneath. We're going to go through a couple more swings here. I want you to tell me who your favorite swing is or what swing style perhaps suits your swing. All right, let's get further along. So, right, Nick Faldo, what a golf swing. Have a look at that front action, will you? How pure is that? Now, this guy... Six major championships, number one player, Ryder Cup superstar. How good was he in the Ryder Cup? And uh, really one of the best iron players you've ever seen. At one stage, Arnold Palmer said that Nick Fada had such control over his golf ball for a year or two that he could, he was definitely one of the straightest hitters that ever lived. He could hit it into different parts of the fairway and took ball striking on his ball striking to an unbelievable level. Pinpoint accuracy with his irons changed his swing around with David Ledbetter, and the ability to change planes at the top of the swing was stood out to me. It made the golf swing look really, really easy, and uh, I just loved watching the rhythm. And it was uh, quite addictive. It was all like we could all get in there and swing like Nick and through this book and David Ledbetter. But we always forgot the guy was a superstar at 19 and beat Nicholas in the Ryder Cup and. He was already a gun. Uh, but uh, some of the things that he spoke about in the swing, he probably didn't do, but uh, really amazing time with the ballada golf balls and shaping it and hitting it through the wind. And you know, the game was a little bit different back then. And the clubs were very small. And have a look at the size of the head of, you know, some of the golf clubs were actually the golf balls as big as the head. So the hand-eye coordination was phenomenal and really a, a, a patch or a period of time where, Players would practice so, so hard 
and hit so many golf balls. Let's get in there and have a look at uh, this incredible swing. For me, one of the things that was really interesting was the move at the top of the swing and just with ease how he would, similar to Hogan in a way, how that right arm would just, you see it move. If I draw a line down from here, we can see the 62 degrees, but when he gets it down, it's already changing. And see how he's able to push this elbow joint in. And this is something that he mentioned, actually. He did mention that uh, in his book, that the elbow joint, this bottom part here, would push inwards and he could feel pressure there. And, if, you know, if there's something that we can pick up out of these champions, see how the grip falls back underneath and the elbow pushing in. You can see that move. I'm not saying it's easy because if it was, we'd all be doing it, but it's just like the, the most perfect thing. It's maybe like the secret to the goal swing. We've seen it with just so many champions at the top. And they're able to bring this thing down into a zone where it just makes it so much easier. Just silky golf swing, isn't it? Have a look. I'll just play that through and have a look at that. For just pure. He actually lifted his head up slightly and then dropped it down, which we'll see here from the front view here. We can just see a little bit of movement, which is a little bit of up movement with the head. And then he's got the that move there, the same as Ben Hogan, isn't it? It's the push down into the left leg and the lateral shift across and how often are we seeing these top players if you see what i mean we're looking at the averages of movement when we take all these top players and this is what dr rob neal's done and we're combined on on world-class golf instruction when we look at the tilts and the turns you come out with averages and the closer you get to these positions the better that you will hit it so guys right sam sneed how are the americans going it's an interesting one when you look at the americans i mean playing baseball i i wonder if that has you know, it just makes the golf swing easier, the way that the right elbow comes. It's a very interesting one. So many great golf swings from the States, isn't it? Slam and Sammy Sneed. Uh, yeah, what a player. 82 PJ Tour victories. It's tied with Tiger Woods. Seven major championships. And the stories about how good this guy hit it off the tee, how good his ball striking was. At one stage, he said in his career, he felt like he could do anything with a golf ball. Practiced until his hands bled. And we can see that the head moving down. The pivot for me here is unbelievable. One of the most flexible players to have ever played. So you've got head movement downwards, and I've just got seven centimetres on the screen, and that's a, that's the average of that left hip. Look how we can get that. That's one of the advantages of getting that heel off the ground, getting that left thigh to work underneath you. And we see DeChambeau, you know, pick up a massive amount of the distance. We see the head moving down. But that the pivot is, it's unbelievable, actually. We get that line here on the hips and we draw it straight back up through the shoulders which we've looked at on other youtube videos but through the golf ball there have a look at that what a golf swing world-class golf instruction has over 700 detailed videos for every golfer practice programs and evidence-based material is applied to helping you to become your own coach and play your best golf and join us in the chat room and join the community of world-class golf instruction Remarkable stuff. I just love some of the positions when you get in there and having a look at the right arm jammed up against the side here. This is what we're seeing with so many great ball strikers. You know, people not noticing certain camera angles. Again, this uh, this is really closing up the gap and storing up your power. Look at the muscles in that forearm. The guy just hits so many golf balls. I'm really getting this right side in very close to the body on the way through. When we look at some of the Positions for me, a couple that are unbelievable. And it's just stand with your legs that straight. It's just that it shows the amount of flexibility. If you ever, you know, filming your swing and you make it, you get your legs in there that straight, it's just so hard to turn. You know, he took the club back a little bit on the inside. And that's what a lot of the guys did back then. Again, the hands quite deep and, and bringing then the almost like correcting and bringing the club back over. But from here to here, it's just pure. I mean, this right elbow for me, that that's just one of the best I've ever seen. I don't know how you can get that down that deep, but it's just, it's Sam Sneed, isn't it? But, you know, you can take bits and pieces of looking at how that right elbow sort of leads in, comes up you know, inside and against the ribs and, um, you know, through the golf ball also when we're looking at uh, really a wonderful pivot, isn't it? Such a centred head, and we almost see a little bit of a, Reverse spine tilt here at the top. It's almost just a touch. And half of the lead leg moving through the wall and uh, big angles coming down. 
Sam Snead. I mean, you can go on and on. I've got many different clips and all sorts of things, but it's just a, it's just such an amazing goalsman, and the depth in the pivot for me is uh, really just one of the most fascinating swings I've ever seen.